Hello, so today I will create a dual boot uh, Windows 11 and Ubuntu virtual machine. I will create another video with Windows 10 too. If somebody needs the Windows 10 version, so yeah. Uh, let's start. Uh, first, I will uh, create the it as a uh, Windows 11 virtual machine. Uh, let's select the ISO. No, it doesn't let you start the desktop Windows 11. Yeah. Uh, next. Oh. Ah, yeah. Okay. I have. Let's change it. Dual boot. Okay, now it will work. Next. Uh, username. AKG. Uh, password. Anyways. Uh, should be. Yeah. We need to delete the spaces and the main name no. or okay okay uh, guest additions of course let's add some RAM CPU next uh, Let's give it a little bit more, just in case, or, no, anyways, I want to try without giving it more, wait, okay, 80 pre-allocate, no, yes, okay, oh, wait, if I don't pre-allocate, it will, I may have problems, yeah, <coughs> I will pre-allocate full size, so just in case so we don't have problems with the windows <coughs> i mean uh, ubuntu setup so yeah now we have to wait a little bit by the way uh update your virtual box version because the new version it's amazing it has so much new features and like options if you are in on an old version, update because it's it's so much better. For example, now it's doing the unattended install, so I don't need to do all this install thing. So now it's ready. Uh, well, powering up. And now it will do all this setup thing. Automatically, it will set up a user, uh, everything, so I don't need to do almost nothing. I need only to click to like uh, enter the setup, and that's all. Like for example, now I clicked enter to enter the setup. Now we'll wait a little bit. Okay. See it, yeah, it even started the stop automatically, so it's perfect. See, yeah, it. I didn't even need like, yeah. I think I used the home edition though, because I didn't let me create a new one. Uh, just to check. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's, you can select the edition here, but since it's a virtual box, I don't care if it's a home edi edition. Okay, now we wait for Windows to copy. See? And I'm ready to go. Now, okay, okay, now let me go to, what, oh, okay, uh, disk management, 
Now let's shrink volume. Oh. Hmm. Ah, okay, it's the recovery partition. Okay. Um, now let's give it. Uh, I don't know. Forty. Five thousand, maybe. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm left with. How many? Okay, I have some space. Well, anyways, it's just a virtual machine, so I don't care. Uh, now let's uh, put in devices uh, into the optical drive. Add. Let me try because I choose. Okay, now. And now let's restart. Uh, I don't know what's the button to... No, okay. It... Wait, it went so fast. They didn't... Okay, now. Escape. Boot manager. CD room. Try and install Ubuntu. Okay. We are getting somewhere. Okay, let's install. Continue. Normal. Uh, yeah. Alongside. What will do alongside? I'm not sure. Formatted. Partition 5. Okay, now. What's the partition 5? One. Yeah, I guess it's the... Yeah, let me... No. Anyway, so I think it will work. Let's try. Continue. Let's see. Um, agree, okay, continue. Name. Uh, and login automatically. Okay, now restart. And enter. And here is where the problem started. So, Windows uses the BBOX SBGA graphics controller. But Linux doesn't support it. Linux uses BMS, uh, BGA graphics controller. So that's why you don't want to create a dual boot and use it uh, in a daily basis in a virtual box. Of course, when it's a real computer, the graphics controller is selected by the operating system, not by the virtual box manager so here i didn't understand why i can't like get a video output it was because i was using the bbox sbga controller for linux so if you want to run linux it's the bms bga but then you will have problems in windows so Uh, skip. No. Okay. Done. Ah, oh, now let's install the. Best editions. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. And here goes another error that was solved with this command, but wasted a lot of time because the Ubuntu software app wasn't working. Uh, so I'm not editing this again. Well, 
I'm not wasting a lot of time again. So the, that was the command to at least that I worked for me to repair the store. And also to install VirtualBox additions, you will have to insert the virtual, like the additions, open a terminal there and just uh, write do the commands on. Yeah. Now we have, okay, we installed a dual boot Windows 11 and Ubuntu VM and even fixed all the errors. Okay, <laughs> I did something, wow. <clears throat> Let's see how now if it broke, no. Okay, so in the end, what can I say? Maybe it's like a interesting thing to test if you want to try to create a dual boot. Uh, not touching like the real machine but don't expect it to work on a daily basis because it's very different how all this works on a real machine and in a virtual machine as you can see VirtualBox uses different uh, graphics adapters for Windows and Linux and the Linux uh, like version doesn't work with Windows and you will need to switch adapters all the time at least it's what I like so maybe I'm not a professional in like VirtualBox, Linux, Windows so maybe I'm wrong at least it's what I saw so yeah uh, I don't recommend using this on a daily basis, only just for like an experiment, and that's all. Yeah, so now thank you for watching, and see you next time. Uh